Hey everybody, Scrivener for iOS is out already. Go pick it up. Today, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can sync it between your computer and your iPad or your iPhone. Let's get started. Hey everybody, Matt Morris here, founder of Author Strong and as you probably know, if you know anything about me, I love Scrivener. I've put out a number of tutorial videos and a full Scrivener for Authors course, and I love it. Scrivener for iOS came out today. I'm super excited. I've been playing around with it all morning, and I wanted to put together a quick video to show you how you can set up the sync between iOS and your computer using Dropbox. So it's super, super easy. Let's go ahead and we're going to jump into it right now. All right, here we are on the iPad. Um, I just downloaded the Scrivener app and it's down here in the bottom right, as you can probably see. Um, there is an iPhone version as well. The iPad version has a couple extra features, so that's what I'm gonna be showing you today. So here we pop it open. The very first time you pop this open, you're gonna see a little tutorial screen. Chances are you've already seen this before you watch this video, but you'll see a little tutorial screen and then you will come to this. This is the main page. Uh, where you're going to be choosing your projects or creating new projects or whatever. Um, as always, Scrivener has an incredible tutorial. You can go through here, and this is how a project looks. This is an actual template project in here. So you have your binder on the left, you get your stuff on the right. Um, if you're used to using the inspector, you can still click the little eye up at the top here, and you'll see inspector, the inspector uh, pane open up. In any case, it's a wonderful little uh, tutorial, and I suggest you go through it. Now, let's go ahead and uh, what I'm going to do today is show you how to set up the Dropbox syncing. So, uh, Scrivener does not use iCloud for syncing. It does, or Cloud Drive or whatever it's called now. Uh, it does use Dropbox, which I love. Dropbox is so much more reliable than Cloud Drive. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to click this little uh, like circle, uh, double arrow, circular thing up at the top right. And we're going to go link Dropbox. It's going to bring up all my all my details here. Allow. And then in this screen, so we can either choose uh, just the standard app or the recommended location uh, for the save, or you can click other. I'm only going to show you the standard right now, but if you wanted to click other, you could actually pick a different folder within Dropbox to save it in. For now, I'm just going to stick with the recommended option. So it's already selected. Go ahead and hit done. And what Scrivener is going to do now is it's going to look at that folder and it's going to see if there's any projects in there and it'll pull them all in. Um, there's not. It's still empty. So um, I'll show you what that looks like whenever we get over to the computer here in a second. But for now, this is now going to be syncing with Dropbox. Let's go ahead and create a new project. And we're going to call it uh, my project because that's just what I call things. Create going to create it in Dropbox and here it is it was that easy so if I wanted to start writing I can click on the untitled document here and click in here and this is my masterpiece incredible and done and that's easy as that you have some cool functionality like if you press and hold it'll bring up this little thing we can give this title we'll call this a scene we'll call it scene one and then we could set a label if we wanted to, or we could set the status. Uh, and it looks like we can edit those right there. Super convenient. And all the other options you would expect in the inspector. And that's how you do it. If you click on just like the draft folder, it'll open up the corkboard. You can also pinch to zoom on these or make them smaller. You can do the same thing within the writing, pinch and make it bigger or hit a bunch of buttons like that i'm creating new scenes and i don't even mean to so my, my big clumsy fingers um and so we did create a new scene now to do that you just hit the little plus on the top right it'll bring this up i'll type call it new done and we can write all right now what we're going to do here is we are going to actually sync it. So if we click on the projects in the top left and go back again, um, it says it's not synced. We can go ahead and hit the little sync button to resync it. There's also options if you go through the uh, preferences. 
where you can tell it to sync Dropbox every single time you close a project. So we've already got that. Now let's switch over to the computer real quick and I'll show you what we're looking at. Okay, we are now on the computer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my Dropbox folder. And so I do that through a variety of ways, but if you just come up here and you click on Dropbox, you can click on the little folder icon and it does open stuff. So here's my Dropbox folder. It's got a lot of crap in it right now. But if we remember, if we go to apps, uh, Scrivener, see I also got day one in there. If you guys use day one, it's pretty cool. And here's that project we just created. So let's go ahead and double click that, open it up. And here it is. Again, I can't click. So uh, these are all the things that we created. Uh, scene one, new, here's that untitled document. Um, and that's it. That's that's as easy as it is. So um, if I, uh, I'll write new stuff in here. There we go. Now to resync this back over to uh, to iOS or to the to your iPad or to your phone or whatever you're using, just click this little button up here in the top left. Sync with mobile devices. Uh, no mobile changes found. I think this actually this automatically saves. This is only a draw. So if you click this, it's going to pull in new changes. So I'm not even going to close this. I'm going to leave this open. Now let's go back over to the iPad. And we're back here in the iPad. I'm actually doing this all, all at the same time. And so if uh, we come back up here to this is my masterpiece. So it didn't sync that stuff over yet. However, if we come out, uh, sync changes now. waiting for this to update and now we've got new ones and boom there's my new stuff so I'll just write again done and I'm gonna leave it like that I'm just gonna leave it open I'm gonna come back over here we're back on the computer now um, actually I don't think that this will update anything nope so in the iPad you do have to come out you have to resync it here this will upload all the new changes to Dropbox then when you upload the new changes back into the computer, click the sync, it will close everything, reopen it, and there it is. All right, so you might be wondering, since you're probably already using Scrivener, how do you actually get your current project that you're current, currently working on into Dropbox so that it can be synced over to your iPad? Let's go ahead and, and I'll show you how to do that right now. And so let's go ahead and open our Dropbox folder again. And we'll go over here, apps, Scrivener, and we've already got the My Project that we were just working on. Now, I pulled out a, uh, a different file right here, something I was putting together for my good buddy Robert Chess Shoot. So what we're going to do, and this is just using this as an example, we're going to put this, go ahead and close out of that, and we're going to put it just right here. Copy it just in that one spot on Dropbox. So Dropbox is still syncing so whenever this turns green we know we're good to go okay now it's in our scrivener file so let's go ahead and jump over to the ipad and i'll show you what we're going to do over there all right now we're back in the ipad and all we should have to do is just click the little sync button in the top right it's going to sync and it's going to download everything Robots versus humans. There you go. And it is that easy. The, the formatting is not going to look the same because I've got a lot going on in that other one, but this is exactly what it looks like. And so we can go through here and, and look at all this different stuff. And that's how you do it. We could, you know, just sit here and we could write the book just like this. All right. That's how you set up the sync. It was really, really easy. Make sure if you got anything out of this, make sure you click like on the video, subscribe to the video, and also go check us out, authorstrong.com. We've got some cool stuff over there. If you use Scrivener for Windows or for Mac, uh, we have a really cool guide that shows you how to format uh, eBooks. It's really, really simple. It's, it's a really quick guide. People love it. You can go to authorstrong.com slash guides. You can check it out. And also shoot me an email, matt at authorstrong.com, M-A-T at authorstrong.com. Let me know what kind of tutorials you'd like me to keep putting out. And I will keep doing that. But for now, I hope you got a lot out of this.
Take care.